So we built another one and this flight controller is a uh, production board. It's not a prototype board. Uh, last time we actually used the, the prototype board and we just want to make sure the lowest voltage these things can take. So we are going to do a hovering test to drain the, ba the battery down to whatever it can still hold up there. And we will do the DVR recording, right? Yeah. And right, especially before we take off um, to go do test number two, right? Or, no, this is test number three already. So right yeah. before we do test number three, we're going to do one quick test and see how low we can drain the battery. Yeah. So, as you guys saw in the DVR footage, we brought it down to 2.4 volts. That is honestly, that feels uncomfortable to me because I fly LiPo batteries and not lithium ion batteries. But yeah, we did 2.4 volts. So I think now that we know the limits of this and how low we can actually bring it, I think we should do a very uh, long range test. What, yeah. what, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't expect that can drain down to 2.4. As <laughs> a, a lot of people say uh, the Hummingbird V4 can uh, support that low voltage, but it actually it does. This is a production board and we drained down to 2.4 um, at the VTX cutoff. So that's already below the uh, 18650, uh, the bottom line. So we might go to La Jolla, the west, uh, on a, like above the, the coastline. Yeah. We're going to fly the coastline from the north to the south. I feel yeah. pretty confident now that I know that we can bring it down to 2.4. So if I'm flying and I see the battery is going down to like 2.5, 2.6, then I'll probably just bring it in the land somewhere. But yeah, now that I know the limit, that 2.4 is the bottom line, yeah, I feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, so we'll probably do something around like 8 to 10 uh, kilometers range to do the test. Yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait. Let's do it, guys. You guys have been waiting for this. We're going to do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 